Tara is busy with family stuff this week, so uh, Luke from Rocked Reviews very graciously dropped in to help us out tonight in the midst of the apocalypse. Hey everyone, glad to kick off Apocalypse 2020. Hey! Yes, it's hands! A it's a party we were all invited to and we have to come. Yeah, we don't we're... have a choice of going or not. We're all going to die. Mm -hmm. Um... So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a sh no, no. week between the, the, the stock it's market. Been, it's and... Monday. It's been one day. It's been, it's been a hell of a month today. Today was oh, a hell yeah, of a month. Oh, yeah. These nine days. Yeah. It's been one heck of a March, huh? Uh, so, uh, but that's, uh, that, uh, let's, let's, let's look at some other horrible things going on in the world because okay. that, that's why you're here. Yeah, and just as a one precursor, the last time I was on this show was one of the worst weeks I've ever seen on Radio Dead Air, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Am I going to have nightmares again? I don't know. Oh, cool. I, I, I make... Please give me some hope on the apocalypse starting day. No, I make no promises. Oh, 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 Get the intro rolling. Oh, oh, Each week, <laughs> Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible things bring it back here for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you and uh we're gonna start off this week we're talking about uh the vibe mm -hmm. the whole thing actually i might have to go out i, I found this out from a couple of other youtubers i might have to actually go out and back and bleep the word because you can't say if you say it on youtube you get demonetized wait which word the cv the human malware. If you say it on YouTube, you get demonetized. What? Though, no, come on. We'll, no. we'll we'll just call it human malware, which is 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 appropriate. That's what that's what's going on. Biological malware. Oh, right. Okay. Um. But YouTube. Uh, Jeez. Fucking YouTube, man. I know. Man, that's I didn't know that one. Wow. But uh, so a lot of weird stuff has been going around online regarding the the outbreak, yes. as it is. Um, oh, you can say it. You just get demonetized, right? Yeah. So it's it's the Voldemort rule. We have to yeah. call it that. What that which shall not be named. Not be named. But um, but uh, a <laughs> lot of mis misinformation's been going on, and a lot of news has been trying to correct some of that misinformation. Let's let's help out as a public service. We are going to continue and help that. Um, did you know that <sighs> cocaine? will not cure or prevent the infection. Uh, the, 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 uh, the extended part of that headline. Oh, oh. A fake claim, yeah. Uh, the French government was forced to tell people that cocaine does not cure the human malware, the illness uh, caused by the human malware, to uh, dispel widely circulated misinformation spreading online. In response to doctored images suggesting that cocaine kills the infection, uh, being shared <laughs> thousands of times on Twitter over the past week, the French health ministry tweeted on Sunday, no, it does not protect France. It's an addictive France. drug that causes serious side effects and is a harm of people's health. How did this start happening? France. You you are better than having to have the government say, you know what? Cocaine isn't NyQuil. It's not gonna fix you overnight. Who 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 saw who saw there there were a couple of, of uh people post this. Who saw that come up on social media and went, Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Cocaine will kill a virus. Yeah, oh, it co doesn't do that. Oh, 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 okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Also, who's telling the information? This will take care of the virus. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's, I don't One know if it's people trolling. Ugh. I don't know if it's people trolling. I don't know what it is. Was it your dealer that told you that it's going to take <laughs> care of your problems? Because then I believe it. <laughs> I'm telling you, one line in each nostril, it'll solve everything. You know, people aren't going out, people aren't shopping, retail's hurting, that includes your dealer. They gotta get a way to oh, get you back. Yeah. They gotta get you come out. Man, we're gonna have dealers for like Purell and three ply toilet paper on the streets now. Too. Somebody so. pointed out today that pure that a four pack of Purell was selling for more than a barrel of oil. Oh. 
the world is burning. I know, right? It's like, yeah, can I just dump my he- my hands in this oil? That'll clean something, right? That's cheaper. Also, I just know this too. I was talking about this earlier. There's going to be like, it's still Girl Scout cookie season. Mm-hmm. Right next to the table of Girl Scouts is going to be a bunch of guys just selling Purell and Lysol spray and making a killing out of it. Yeah, because they're buying it all. Yeah. And they're going to try to sell it back to people for like 40 bucks a can. Freaking Ly- Why Lysol though? Really? It's just, <laughs> no, that's, oh yeah. Lysol is like going for 40 bucks a can on eBay now. Not a joke. Soap will work. You idiots. Right. Sorry. Back to the French cocaine. Well, our, our, our next story is, I don't know if you would call this a miracle or a sign of the end times, but it's pretty awesome either way. Um, from a what town, a sales pitch. Little town in Italy had an interesting event. Um, nearly 300 gallons of wine flowed out of faucets in a town in Italy. Jesus is stepping up his miracles. <laughs> that is impressive. Castelvetro, Italy, a mistake in Italy, briefly turned water into wine. <laughs> a mistake? Nearly 300 gallons of Lambrusco came flowing out of faucets in the town of Castelvetro in northern you Italy. You can't just call oops on that. That's not just a mistake. No. Problem came from a local winery. The, uh, the workers planned to bottle a new batch of wine, but their product somehow leaked into the pipes. Somehow. How much was the quantity? 300 gallons? 300 gallons. So people were turning on their water. I think we've got some pictures here. I can show you. People were, were turning on their water. Let's yeah. see. Got to find a picture. Where is it? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Um, we'll put that over here on screen. screen. Yeah. Look at that. There, there there's 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 where it was happening and uh it was coming out of people's um out of people's faucets and everything like that. This- he, can Billy come out to play? Sorry, Johnny. He tried to brush his teeth and now he's hammered. <laughs> he has got a wine hangover and he is not coming out anytime <laughs> soon. Yeah, people are like, how does 300 gallons just yeah, leak? You can't, you can't just knock that over either. That's not just a crack. Oh, man. <laughs> Some this, dude was just disgruntled as hell, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I, yeah. There's that's not an oops. That's not an uh oh. That's some, there's more to that story for sure. But. Some somebody wanted a raise, <laughs> and it did not happen. Yeah, can you so, imagine? You try to get okay. Not even if I got into the shower, and suddenly oh, hot yeah. wine starts pouring out for a moment or two. That's gonna freak me the hell out. This bath bomb is amazing. <laughs> no, I'm I'm seriously going to be like, what's happening to the water? This yeah. is it's, it's, it's like red wine. It's red wine too. It's not white wine. It's red wine. You're this... going to be you'll be terrified. So this is what happens when Jesus goes for a swim. <laughs> what? Just all that movement from Jesus, his miracle power. Hey, just Jesus, at... what you doing? We told you to stay out of the pool. Hey. What the fuck? What? Jesus, what oh, the fuck? 300 gallons, though. That's pretty good size. I mean, that's at least uh, one of those above ground pools in the backyard. Right? Oh, man. That is uh, a lot of. T- <laughs> Again, I'm just thinking of like a little kid. He's not going to know, or she's no. not going to know. Uh, it's red. Whatever. Man. <laughs> Mommy, there's juice coming out of the t- faucet. <laughs> I have a headache. <laughs> Leave mommy alone with the sink for a good hour. <laughs> You go downstairs and sleep. This is the best afternoon of Mommy's life. There's like one American woman named Karen in Italy is like, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This is all I've ever wanted. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, if you could get the downstairs sink, sink to put out liquid chocolate, I would also appreciate that, too. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, well, next up, we have this. Yeah, this is about a bit more of our... Uh, our wheelhouse, of course it is. Well, these last two weren't nearly as horrifying. Well, this is from Can Michigan. We... I don't understand this. This headline alone, I have many questions. I'm sure you will too. 
oh, from awesome. Michigan. Ancient sword of the meth king seized by Michigan police. Has Linkara covered that comic yet? <laughs> oh no, that wall. Oh no. Oh, it's a table. But still, That's a table. Oh, a table. Ancient sword of the meth king. Uh huh. A fearsome looking weapon dubbed, quote, Ancient Sword of the Meth King by a Michigan Police Department is now in police evidence. The Bath Township Police Department posted a Facebook photo this week of a cache of weapons, including the insane looking sword, and noted jokingly, quote, While you were sleeping in the early morning of January 27th, officers conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle. Subsequent search located a very odd combination of illegally possessed weapons as well as methamphetamine. Small town police department is known for cracking jokes on Facebook. Readers were quick to applaud their latest offering. Turns out the weapon is from the hit Japanese anime Bleach, yeah. which eagle-eyed fans pointed out. It belongs to a character named Renji Abari. <laughs> Replicas can be bought online at Heavenly Swords for a mere $58.99. The meth sword for fifty eight ninety nine. Also, look at some of those guns. Um, I'm uh, I'm not sure of what's real and what's not. There. I was going to say some of those do not look completely legit, but some of those do look like bullets. And if we know he had meth, he I, this was all in his car. I mean, there's riding, Where? there's riding dirty, and there's riding dirty. What the that fuck, is, man? That is Detroit dirty right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who is? Hey, can you give me a ride? Oh, sure, hop in. Oh my gosh. Who? Who is right? Why would you drive around with this sword? Yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't even look like anything, really. Like even like sword aficionados would be right? like, what the heck? Yeah. Why would you drive around? What? It's, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> While you were watching Breaking Bad, I studied the bleach. Okay, that was good. Okay, that was, that yeah. was good. <laughs> but like, I'm looking, this is I'm the counting. most attention bleach has gotten since what 2009? <laughs> yeah, ever since the commercial stopped on Cartoon Network, pretty much. Um, I'm just like what a good four or five knives. I can't tell if those are real bullets or not. I can't One either. One of the guns looks like a toy. The sword looks like it was like I don't even know. Ancient sword of the meth king. The ancient sword of the meth king. I just, I love how the, the police department made this joke, and then there's like all the weebs are like, actually, it's from Bleach. It's from an anime. It was very popular. It was on Cartoon Network for a long time. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Have you heard of Adult Swim? Have you, have you heard of Adult Swim? If that's a Michigan police officer, I'm sure he has more problems to deal with than wondering what Bleach character held that sword. Uh, also, I really hope it was not like that um, police officer's first day, and that's the guy he had to bust. There are worse uh, things to do on your first day. I agree, but man, that's a problem. That's like some weird monkey paw luck if you get that guy for your first day. Meth and toys and knives. Well, speaking of, uh, we're rolling right along with our police stops. We have another police stop. This one is uh, Louisiana. Um, this dude, uh, th this falls into the chutzpah category. Um, I think that, yeah, definitely. It, yeah, this is this is chutzpah. Okay. Um, a driver was pulled over with expired 1997 license plate tags. That's impossible. There's no way. He says he's been busy. Have you seen the line at the DMV? <laughs> Wait a minute. So 97, 23 years? <laughs> a Slide a Slidell Police Department officer pulled over a man for an expired license plate that hadn't been renewed since 1997. Was this like on a trailer hitch that stayed in a garage? Nope, regular old car. Well, how? Don't like they have to like change license plates designs after decades or something? Yeah, they do. Oh, how did when he get the, away with it for that long? When the officer asked the man why, the driver replied, quote, Sorry, officer, I've been busy lately and totally forgot to renew my registration. I will take care of it as soon as I get home. Promise. Chutzpah. Man. People are like, is he a time traveler? Maybe. 
Is this like the Louisiana DeLorean? <laughs> oh, no. Nine, 23 years. Ellison. I don't I'm, know how he got away with it either, man. Have you ever had a good experience at the DMV? A good experience? I've had a neutral experience. Okay, you know what? Have you ever had an expected experience at the DMV where you got what you wanted, got out, and no issues? Okay, let me ask it this way. Have you ever had a terrible experience at the DMV? Oh, God, yes. Okay, so have I. Oh, God. Have you yes. ever had bad ones so bad that you put something off for 23 years? I know. There's no way. 23 years? Because and I, you still can't find time? Man, I've driven around. I've, I have, I, I think one year I forgot to, I, I put, I, I forgot. Yeah, it was because I got back here and I got, um, I forgot which month my registration was and I changed yeah, it back over. That's so normal. I completely forgot it was time to get a new registration. And they stopped me like the day. Yeah. Fucking cops are like on it. Johnny on the spot. They're like, you know, your registration expired. I'll be, oh crap. And they'll let me go that time. Cause it was like the, it was like the first of yeah. the very next month. They're aware of that stuff. People are like, but he totally stole that plate. He may have. Maybe. And like, but why would he put that on his car then? I don't know. That's like a worse item. That, like you couldn't have stolen a worse plate at that point. If you're trying to steal plates and disguise your own car. 97 of September. Also, you were off by a day, Nash, not 23 years and six months. I'm telling, oh. the, I'm telling the dude, I mean, the dude just having the nut, just the, the, the gall no, to agree. tell the. I agree. I, oh, I'll do it when I get home. Sorry. Thank you, officer. Thank you for letting me know. I totally missed that. It's, it just well, it slipped my mind. Requ required to renew every two years. Right. Two years. So he had to have gotten stuff in the mail. Totally slipped my mind for like two, 20 years. I'll get to it as soon as I get home. Promise. Oh. So uh, next up, uh, Kansas. Um, we, we, we talk a lot in America about the recidivism rate, which is uh, when you get out of jail, there is a likelihood you will uh, commit a repeat. Um, go back. Caught, you go right back in. And that's it's, it's a very serious issue, and we, we need to discuss it because, you know, hold out. Punitive incarceration versus re rehabilitation. It's a very important discussion. This person kind of screws it all up. Woman just freed from jail, broke into courthouse for Girl Scout cookies, Cardi B. That headline is a big fat word salad. Could you please translate? Within hours, something? within hours of her release uh, Monday from the Sedgwick County Jail, authorities caught a Wichita woman inside the historic uh, county courthouse eating stolen Girl Scout cookies and blaring Cardi B. <laughs> what you gonna do when you get out? Thin mints and Cardi B. <laughs> authorities discovered Laura Christine Fellows' nighttime caper. When she pulled a fire alarm for what reason around 3 a.m. Tuesday and drew the attention of courthouse security staff. Officers rushed to the building after the alarm sounded and found the 47-year-old inside rummaging through offices on the second and third floors. She was also scarfing down the cookies and playing music by the popular female rapper on courthouse computer. Law enforcement promptly hauled her back to jail. She just got out. Yeah. And she's 47. She's freaking just got out of. I'm Clean pretty plate. sure I could do whatever I want. Oh, no, that's not how that way. It's not like, you know, it's not like, it's, oh, it's not like Grand Theft Auto. As soon as you get arrested, everything's completely given yeah, back. They to don't you reset. You the, your star level doesn't reset. You, you sure? I get all my stuff back and you start over right from the police station? That's how it works, right? Should have clued you off when they didn't hand you back a pile of weapons when you left the, the, the freaking jail. And I'm only in for a day, right? That's it? No matter what the crime, it's should, only a day? Should have freaking taken... Man! Okay. Uh -oh. uh, she also uh -oh. battered the police officer who arrested... arrested yeah, she was, uh, she was in jail before the break-in for an unrelated crime. Uh, police arrested and jailed her around 4 p.m. Monday for shop, uh, shoplifting cell phones, screen protectors, and headphones from the Verizon store. She also battered police officer who arrested her at the phone store. As, in addition to minor damage inside the historic courthouse, home to the county's election office, office, small claims court, human resources, 
Authorities found damaged outdoor lights near a flagpole. Uh, Fallot made a first appearance on Thursday on burglary, misdemeanor theft, and misdemeanor criminal charges. Um, the criminal damage to property charge alleges she caused less than 1000 The burglary is a felony. So she was literally broke into Verizon and then just started running around the, down the street, kicking, kicking in lights, bashing stuff in. She got arrested, and then she got let out, and then she started playing then, the fool again. All right, give me that computer. I don't want to hear it. This is my playlist. Man, I could expect if you did it at the Verizon store, you're at least getting money from shoplifting. That at least makes sense. It's not good, but I can follow what you're doing. What the hell are you doing in the courthouse? Why you're... did you pull the fire alarm? Yeah. You are bad at crime, and you should stop. And why would you try to break into a computer there of all places where they have hard cameras and tracking on everything to do something that stupid? This is like the worst criminal scavenger hunt ever to do as many as weird random things on those scavenger hunt lists that yeah. you check off. That's one of those. It's just worthless stuff. What did, what was her end game? What did she possibly get out know. of this? I don't I, you. All I can tell you is this is crime is not a good job for you. No, you need and another career. That okay. is not crime. Also crime. Um, I would never endorse, but criminals usually rely on stealth and not being detected, not pulling a fire alarm and blasting Cardi B while you're uh, committing said crimes. Some weird calling card. Well, oh. Follow the trail of Girl Scout crumb cookies to get your phone back. Speaking oh. Last story. Speaking of bad at crime, of course it's Florida. Of course it's fucking Florida. Oh. Um, this is a pretty big robbery, and you'd think whoever pulled, whoever planned it and attempted it, had put some careful planning into it and knew what they were doing. And no, no, no. Water bottles link California inmate to three million dollar Tampa jewelry store burglary. Using that, okay, using that water a, bottles that a heist. Using water bottles left behind at the crime scene, Tampa Police Department has solved a three million dollar jewelry store burglary investigation. You see why you should recycle and throw your stuff away in the trash can? You see, kids? Marcelo's fine jewelry was robbed on April 27, 2019, after an individual's cut the power off to the store after hours, pried open the front door to get inside. Police say the suspect then used a cutting torch to open the safe in the room and stole three million worth of gold and jewelry. This was so, a legit heist. So, yeah, dude came in, like, you know, old school with the... Middle blow of the torch and shit. Yeah. And the individuals got away from the burglary, but left behind several used water bottles on the store's counter, which later became critical evidence. And look, 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 they made it. They made this is a disaster in there. Look at that shit. Yeah. There's money and shit everywhere. DNA from the water bottles would later match a Los Angeles County Police Department. I just see the dudes like, what? How'd they do it? I can't wear gloves. On the video, like about a minute in, there's the mugshot of the guy. He's like, but I did everything right. I know I did. This is th the dude actually did all the planning. He did all the Ocean's Eleven bullshit. Yeah, he went you know? that safe, too. That safe is obliterated. Probably even had like a montage explaining his plan to somebody. And the music playing in his head. Right. All right. So, he, right. so doing all that going on. And at the last moment, leaving Ooh, the water. Thirsty. Ugh. How you do could, you. How you do already he, got away with it. Three million dollars. And I. Would he, I think he would have probably would have gotten away with it, too, then. Yeah, apparently he, he was doing great. Except but until then. Until he got, he lost track of his water bottle. Cur oh, kid. Oh, currently in the Ventura are. County Jail on $1.1 million bond. Now Ooh. charged with burglary. Damn, son. Man, you had the perfect game plan. You really did. But you couldn't hold off for like another 30 minutes to get something to drink on the way home from the, from the heist. You couldn't wait.
You couldn't stop for quick trip or, or sheets. Wawa, they have Wawa in Florida. You couldn't wait for Wawa. You had to bring something in with you. I mean, you know what? I, I, people are remarking on it right now. What I have here, I've got a water bottle. This is a non-disposable water bottle. I take it with me. It's yeah. good for the environment because I'm not making trash. Also, if I commit a crime, no one's going to find it because I take it with me. You don't... <laughs> and even if... Oh, man. And he would have had to have just... He said it was like on the counter or something? Yeah, I just left it behind. Oh, okay. One last look around. Eh, it's fine. Oh, this guy did work. He's, this he's was planning. He this is was sitting efforts. in jail, just kicking himself constantly. Just fucking fuck. How Dang the fuck? Dasani. Dang Damn Dasani. Dasani. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Three million in jewelry. That's a ton of jewelry too in cash. Yeah, dude, dude got caught because he littered. Give a hoot. <laughs> Don't pollute. Yeah, that's right. He could he could have just simply you know just just drink out of the faucet. It's not that bad. Just get a drink from the bathroom sink if you're right. Bathroom, you're Seriously. Much. Oh my gosh, man, 33 years old. You're going to jail for a long time. Too. Yeah, you steal when you steal three million dollars. That's that's <laughs> that's not. You're not coming back out again. When you steal three million dollars and you prove you know how to break into places high, like with high security, well, like that. I say uh, when you steal three million dollars, but when you steal three million dollars <laughs> and you don't work on Wall Street, yeah, then you're going to jail forever. <laughs> well, no one's making three million dollars on Wall Street ever again. So, nope. uh, so oh. well, maybe, maybe in a few decades, maybe someday <laughs> in the far future. In like Earth Two, when yeah. this whole crisis is avoided. Oh man! Ugh. The first you thing we the first ahead, first thing ahead. we learned this week is um, clean up after you damn self. You know. <laughs> I feel, oh man, I just, I hope in prison, the other cellmates never let him live that down. They call him water bottle. They call him something. Water, they call He's, him the water boy. He's a water boy. Oh, yes. Come here, water boy. You want to play foosball, water boy? <laughs> You're in my seat, water boy. Oh. Uh, I almost feel bad for the poor bastard. I uh, know this, this guy. This guy actually does work, so you know he had a game plan. He's way. He probably is smarter than the average criminal on your show. No offense to the stars of your show, yeah. but man, we've learned that we've learned you. Uh, just because you you just got out for committing one crime does not mean you can't be arrested for. They'll bring you right back. Yeah. <laughs> it's no trouble. Really, she did it easier for her, but like she didn't. She didn't even leave. Right, she you're in the courthouse. The, it's on the property. way. They even have to put you in the back of the car. <laughs> they don't even have to open the door for you. Oh, um, we've learned that uh, if uh, <laughs> you might be able to to bullshit the cop if if you haven't got your your license your tags changed a month or two, but twenty three years is pushing it. Do you think they? <laughs> Do you think he's gonna go for twenty four now? It just he got away with it and said, "You know what? Maybe I, bet I can go one more. I bet I can." Um, we've learned that uh, bleach is big with meth heads. Apparently, uh, I did know. not know that. Good to I know. Did that, yeah. You can you can distract them with some AMVs if you're ever cornered <laughs> by meth heads. There you go. Do you want to see how big of a bleach fan I am? Pulls out the fifty eight dollar meth sword <laughs> from your driver's seats. Um. We've learned that sometimes wine will come out of the water faucets. It's a thing that can happen. Go I ahead, didn't you know, know this. I, some people do pay for miracles. That is a miracle to someone. Somebody was was like, it was great. And finally, we've learned this week, do not get your medical information exclusively from social media. Yes. I. <laughs> Cocaine is not an antiviral. It's not how that Works. And it's not the fact that someone, that was not just one person that was spreading that information. Many people must have said that in order for the Fr French government to say, everyone, no. I'm pretty sure that, you know, in France, the people in the French government wanted the cocaine for themselves. <laughs>